So welcome to the video. This is question seven of the exam paper I'm going through. I'll leave it down below if you want to know exactly which exam paper and have a copy for yourself. If you just want to learn a little bit about criticisms of particular Venn diagrams, then please feel free to stay anyway and I'll help teach you, um, yeah, some of that. So question seven, we have a group of 98 students, 25 study both art and French, 10 study art but do not study French, and 41 study French. So Joel draws this Venn diagram to represent the information. The group of 98 students is E. A is equal to students who study art and F is the students who study French. Now, the first problem I spotted is that, you know, he hasn't used A and F to, you know, label the circles. So that's a problem there. That's one criticism I would put. And the second is if you add up all the numbers, they add to 99, they don't add to 98. So what I mean by that, if you, if you see the 10, 25 and 16, and 48 they don't actually add to 99 or or sorry they do add to 99 not to 98 because they're meant to add to 98 because he's put the group of 98 students and we got told that in the start as well so those are the criticisms when you look at the mark scheme as well you can see that they're pretty much just variations of this so these seem like the two right answers but you could write it in a few different ways and I believe you have to try and get b1 and b0 but I'm not 100% sure because I'm not an exam marker but you know the two I I've given are definitely you know you're definitely going to get the marks for that but yeah if you have any you know comments or questions just leave them below i uh, hope you like the video and best of luck with your maths thanks for watching